get some hints without resorting to a web search. <laughs> long videos or They're trying to cut out Google for all the people trying to hunt those trophies. That's kind of cool. I respect that, right? We got to keep your eyeballs on the PlayStation. Like, don't worry about Google. We got we got the tips right here, you know. I can respect that. Let's check it out. First look at the PlayStation 5 user interface experience. Going to give you a look at the PlayStation 5 user experience. Pretty PlayStation. We will see some of the features that enable games to work together with the hardware and network to deliver a truly next generation experience. Truly. Our truly next gen. PS5 user experience is simple. In contrast to maybe some others. Just kidding. And should be meaningful. PlayStation team members from all around the world work to deliver a PS5 experience. Ooh, sparkly. Completely centered on we saw this part before. Player. Connecting you with a great play and a passionate community of gamers. Passionate community. So we're looking to build that Chrome world, you know? The PS5 user experience what we're working on. from the ground up to take advantage of the console capabilities, complementing the transformative games coming with this new generation. All right, all right, let's go. This video tour is from own Sid Schumann. Let's do it. Sackboy. In this case, I've resumed right where I left off in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. And here, we're looking at PlayStation 5's control center. Looking pretty smooth. Here, click and we're right back into the game. Pretty Let's clean. Take a moment and look around. The control center is always one tap of the PlayStation button away. It provides immediate access to almost everything you need from the system without leaving the game. This includes things like seeing who is online, checking the status of a download, managing your control. Ah, that's going to be so dope. So when you open the PlayStation menu, it basically just doesn't go out of the game now. The game just stays playing right there. You can kind of see it. Characters are called that's cool. That's cool. And they let you interact with games and the system in a variety of ways. First, as we've just resumed, the control center is showing a special card that allows me to get up to date on recent stories posted by publishers for games I am following. Interesting. Another card here shows me recent media I've captured from my gameplay using the create button on the dual sense. Oh, that's super cool. I love taking Let's pictures. One of the most powerful new features of the PS5 console. I'm going to emphasize that a bit more. Just to the right in this row, and we call them activities. Activities are part of the plan to remove barriers to gameplay. Let's get an example of one way they're used in Sackboy, a big adventure. So you got all these different selections within your game. You can just jump right to those parts of the game. That's pretty cool. To discover, and each level represents one type of activity I can play, many of which I can go back to later to discover more. I tap the PlayStation button to bring up the control center again. I can see a number of available activities, both active and suggested by the system. Let's take this first one, a big adventure, as an example. I can see that I haven't quite completed this level yet. I'm at 33%. Let's open it up and see more. Here I can see more information, including key objectives I haven't met. And I'm seeing a very important piece of information here. Gotta get those trophies. Ten minutes left. This is PlayStation 5's personalized playtime estimate, giving me an idea how long it will take me to complete this activity. Seems a little bit excessive. <laughs> Do I need a playtime estimate? I don't know. For a specific trophy? <laughs> That's interesting, though. That's cool. But there's more to see here. For another example, let's open that activity back up. It looks like I missed an objective to find the monk robes costume piece. Looks like I need a little help. Some in-game activities, like this one, offer official game help. Game help is included as a benefit for active PlayStation Plus members in some PS5 games. Interesting. In this case, I can open up that objective to get some hints without resorting to a web search. <laughs> long videos or They're trying to cut out Google for all the people trying to hunt those trophies. And I could play it That's kind of cool. And I, can expand I respect that, right? we got to keep your eyeballs on the PlayStation. Like, don't worry about Google. We got, we got the tips right here, you know? I can respect that. You know, some people are hunting those trophies all day. I've never been a huge trophy hunter. I definitely try to go for them, but I've never been 
overly concerned about getting platinum, platinum trophy on everything. I think that's my, uh, it's a little slow here, my game capture, that's why I need my new PC, you know, come on. Super cool. I'm, I'm digging this not leaving the game for all these menu options. That's awesome. It was an obvious improvement, though, to make, but definitely improve. Parties take on an expanded role with PS5, and they now provide persistent spaces to connect with groups that you play with. Here I have a couple of friends chatting away in the party. One of them has started sharing their screen with the group. I guess that's going to be more and more common. You, know, you, you can do it now, but it's not very practical. We can chat while we play, this is kind of cool, though. Watch his progress as well. It'd be super cool if you got two friends playing the same game, right? Like maybe open world adventures or something, and you're both kind of doing your own thing, maybe helping each other out. That'd be kind of cool. Put them in picture in picture, have them in chat, and you're kind of doing your thing. I could dig that. Okay, let's review. So far, we've seen how activities on PS5 will make it easier and faster to hop back into PS5 games, and how you can get in-game help and chat with your friends. So that leaves online multiplayer gaming. Let's check it out. Let's do it. I see that some of my friends are online, so it's time to say goodbye to Sackboy for now and spin up a match of Destruction All-Stars. One of my friends in the party has already started a match, and we can join them from this card in Control Center. Joinable. Destruction All-Stars. There we go. Destruction all -Stars Damn. quickly starts thanks to PS5's ultra high speed. Like no loading, no like we must suspend other game okay, to so open this new game. Party, so just like Bam. Focus on PS5's wow. User experience today, That's impressive, so man. Zip ahead so we can see more. But who knows, maybe it was edited out a bit. I'm sure they at least give you that error, like we must suspend your like current that, game to open this right. game, but we don't have time maybe not. That's today, smooth. But I do think we have time to take a quick photo. To do that, I'll just tap the create oh, button. See that create button in action here. PS5 is always capturing recent gameplay. But when you compose a shot, even using in-game photo mode, you can capture a high-quality screenshot here. This optimizes capturing the moment, letting you review and choose to share. That's later. so dope. I, should I love taking pictures of video games, man. So this is super cool. Up to 4K, on the PS5 up to 4K baby. Okay. No so problem. We've shown off how to jump into activity. How to chat with your friends, get into groups together to it's play, gonna be sick. capturing gameplay. Can't wait to play Red Dead on my new PS5. But what if I want to play a different game? Okay, so here we go. Here's the main main menu. Home screen. Home screen. This is where you'll land when you start up from a powered off state, and where you'll go when you want to choose a new game to play or download. The layout of the space is designed to present games and game content beautifully on a 4K display with simple and super fast access to what you need. And in case you're wondering, media related apps will have their own space like this one, but today we're focused on gaming. Each game has its own hub completely integrated, so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can jump right into. Well, that's Video not too clips, different, but the activity thing is game, cool. That's DLC, super cool. And more. Backward compatible PS4 titles will benefit from some of these features too. Let's move cool. one spot to the left and check out Explore, which brings together all your Explore. games. Explore. We saw a view of this from the control center earlier, and another view will also be in the new PlayStation app for mobile devices. Explore keeps you in the loop. They're going to update the PlayStation, PlayStation app, or they're going to make a whole new app for mobile. Trending media the current for app is not horrible. We'll be testing and learning about this feature in the U.S. at launch, so not everyone will have this on day one. But it gives you a good idea mm. of the direction. Interesting. And this is PlayStation Store for PS5. It's completely integrated into the system. It's not a standalone app anymore. Oh, wow. Browsing for new games to play will be easier thanks to the speed That's pretty of PS5 cool. and a more personalized store experience. You're going to go into it? You'll be able to browse the latest games and deals. 
You'll find PS5 games and many backward compatible PS4 games too. I'm sad to say, but we are almost out of time. So let's pull up Control Center. I wanted to see the shop. The tab of the PlayStation. Yeah, scroll down there. Let me see. On our way out, why don't we quickly share that photo we took in Destruction All Stars? We can find recently captured media in this handy card in Control Center. From here, we can do some quick edits, but I think I'm ready to share it right now. On PlayStation 5, I have the option to share videos and images to supported external services, or I can send them directly to one of my parties. Remember, parties are bigger than just voice chat now. So I'll select one of my favorite parties here. Bigger than just voice Let's chat. Let's a quick message here. The DualSense controller makes this really easy. PlayStation 5 supports voice dictation in a number of languages. Ah, so you that's know cool. Voice messages, messages right on your... Yeah, that's cool. Simply select the microphone button. Here's a cool oh, it's not a voice message, it's just dictate. Yet played the activity where I captured this media, and the game's developer thinks that activity might contain spoilers, they'll receive a warning before they view it. Well, <laughs> that's it for our demo. Spoiler warning and everything, hey? We couldn't get to today, but we're super excited to share more of the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation app user experience with you in the coming weeks headed to launch. And of course, this was just the first look at what fans can expect on day one. The team at PlayStation is committed to evolving this experience with our community in the months ahead. We look forward to sharing more. Thanks for watching. All right. No limits. PlayStation. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Most impressive thing by far was just that switching from one game to another with like no load screen, no exiting out of the game even. Just boom, right over. And then definitely being able to jump right into like action parts or like different cards that go right to different sections of the game. That's pretty cool, especially if it's going to be like instantaneous like it was in the demo there. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll definitely keep a link for the uh, full 4K demo from PlayStation uh, in the description below along with all my social medias. Please give me a follow. Like and subscribe. Chrome World. New YouTube channel. Let's get it. Peace.